Hi everybody, this is Ian Tranch, we're back for another video. So there's something a little bit different in this video. So over the last sort of like six months or so since I've been in a lot of the Facebook groups, I've noticed that there's been quite a lot of people that have put up warnings about be careful from this person. They've just scammed me out of a hundred pound for some spiders that they never sent or enclosures or anything like that. So what I've planned to do is put together some tips to help you avoid getting scammed when trying to buy spiders online. Okay, so the first tip I've got on my list of ways to not get scammed is to be careful where you're buying from. So if you're buying from overseas, be make sure you, you research any regulations you've got uh, if you live in the US, for instance, uh, you cannot buy anything from Europe or um, Asia without an import license. Now, I have seen before that people have been conned out of money trying to buy spiders in America from the UK. So just check first before you do anything of any regulations, especially even in the United States, for instance, you've got some you cannot sell across state lines as well now obviously i'm from the uk so i'm not fully up to date with all of the rules and regulations on that so it might be worth speaking to someone from the usa if you live in the us to check these regulations i know for instance some of the prochlorella you cannot sell across state lines so so yeah just that's something to be careful of as well um i was actually approached back oh, probably about five months ago now by someone from the united states um, saying on my Facebook page and they private messaged me saying I've got some spiders for sale um, and I looked at his profile he was from the United uh, United States uh, I, I, you know, I kindly just said look I'm from the UK um, I'm not interested thank you carried on I can ship them next day uh, well I know for a fact that you cannot ship next day from the US to the UK that's just something you just cannot do and as soon as he said that alarm bells went ringing and I knew he was out just to scam people. And funny enough, a couple of weeks later, I did see someone put on one of the groups that they had been scammed trying to buy spiders from this same person. So um, yeah, so just look for any warning signs, anything like that. So that's the first tip. Okay, so tip number two, using traders. So obviously, if you're from the UK, you have a lot of choice to choose from, from reputable traders. Um, each have their own Facebook page. Oh, I'm not going to name anyone, but obviously you, you know, you just have to go onto any of the groups and ask and you will get five or six reputable traders that you can buy from. Same as when in the US as well. Um, it's always the safest thing to do is to buy from traders. Obviously, you can still ask for people's feedback on each and every trader that you find. If someone, if one of these traders is selling a, a tarantula you're looking for, then obviously just go into the group and say, "Hey, I've seen the, these guys are selling this tarantula. Has anyone had any, you know, any experiences with them?" Uh, feedback would be appreciated, and and a lot of the groups people will be very helpful. So you know, um, there is plenty of choice out there, and if one trader hasn't got a particular tarantula, I'm sure enough one will. So yeah, so so using traders as much as you can obviously benefits yourself from the potential of being scammed out of money. Tip number three, so private sellers. Now obviously the same goes for private sellers. There are plenty of guys out there who are very genuine, but unfortunately, as you may be aware, if you're in any of the groups that there are a lot of people that are just out to get money. I think it's, it's, it's where the hobby's growing so much, um, there is a lot of issues with people jumping on it and just getting, you know, going out and just scamming money. So be very careful if you're buying from a private seller. If you can, if you can try, make sure that you can do something like a cash on collection. If it's not too far away, maybe you can meet halfway in the middle or do a bit of petrol money or something like that. Uh, that's always a good idea, um, but you know this will kind of like go into you know tip number four as well. So we're going to get on to tip number four. So that is transactions. So 
I've seen plenty of times and even friends I know have been done by this. Um, you know, they've sent a bank transfer over to a certain person to send them spiders. All of a sudden, they've disappeared off of Facebook or Instagram. Um, it's a common practice. I've seen it lots and lots in, in, in the groups. And it, it is very sad, you know, because people get excited that they've got a tarantula uh, and they, they want to buy it. You know, they've seen it for sale and it's a good price. Uh, so, you know, obviously you put your hard earned money to, to go and buy this and, and you end up with nothing and the person either just deletes their account or, or they block you and um, so yeah so transactions I want to go into a little bit more so the one transaction I recommend to use if you are to buy from a private seller is PayPal now obviously you've got different ways of paying on PayPal so you have the friends and family and you have the actual proper um, protected method now with the protected method you do have to pay uh, a percentage fee which is usually roughly around about five percent but if you think about it you are covered if you don't get anything so if someone does scam you you can open up a claim in PayPal and if they don't provide any valid tracking to say that the item has been delivered to you to the address that you have on your PayPal account, then you can open up a case and you can claim your money back. Now, be very careful because if you do money via friends and family, you're not covered for that same protection. So that is something you've got to think about. It might be an extra 5% on top of the fee, but if you think about it, you, you know, if you are getting scammed, you will end up with nothing. So at least you are covered and you will get your money back if if you don't, you know, if you, you know, if you don't receive your parcel. So that is always one thing. Avoid using bank transfers. Again, like if like I stated on my last tip, if you can collect in person, that is always the best thing to do because you can always tell then that the tarantula is as described and it's in a good um, enclosure for instance so you know you can you can check that out and you know obviously if you are buying online obviously you the best you know you can ask for photographs and everything like that so you know it's always best to, to, to do that you know I've seen some people have had parcels turned up and the tarantulas have not even been packed properly they've you know um, cousin Phil Ferret for instance he a couple of months ago uh, received a parcel and the tarantulas were just in the enclosures and there was no heat packs or anything like that. They weren't even packed properly. So, you know, it's there's so many things that could go wrong. So transactions, I've probably gone off subject a bit there, but yeah, so just, just be careful when you do transactions. Make sure that you can, if you possible, use a protected transaction so you can claim for your money back if anything goes wrong. Okay, guys, so I hope you find those tips quite useful. Now, Obviously, the the main thing to do is just be vigilant on when you're purchasing. You know, use traders if you can. Use the proper transactions if you can. Um, be careful where you're buying from. Again, you know, like, you know, it's it's a common thing that I've seen in the groups. You know, people have just been scammed, and it's out of a lot of money as well. And you know, this is just to try and help you get in the right frame of mind to, to, to prevent yourself from getting scammed. No, um, there's, there's been so many lately and obviously as the hobby grows and grows and grows, the opportunists are gonna take advantage of that. So, uh, you know, I hope you take this advice. Uh, obviously you don't have to, but it's just, I thought I'd put something out there because I haven't seen anybody put anything on about any tips on how to prevent getting scams. So uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe. If you have been scammed before, why don't you just put a comment down below and share your experiences because each and every one would be um, you know, interested into, you know, if there is a potential that someone is still lurking in the groups that is gonna scam you, then at least we can identify those people and you know remove them out of the groups uh, as much as we can. So. Um, yeah, so don't forget to, uh, to subscribe guys and I'll see you in the next video.